Hi everyone, it's Kara, and I wanted to do a video to show you the covers that I am using for my Hobonichis and explain to you what I'm going to use each of them for. If you saw the videos right before this one, you will have seen each kind of these planners. I showed you the three types that I have from the Hobonichi site and just kind of give you a basic rundown of each kind, what's in them, and my general kind of feeling about them. And I wanted to show you the covers I picked. So this first one, which is, I think, really bright and cheerful and just a lot of fun, I'm actually using on the um, English planner that I showed you, the ver English version of the Hobonichi. And this planner, I believe, is called, um, some say the gate turned wishes into sound, if you're looking for it on the Hobonichi site. And it is um, a cover that's created, I believe, by a children's illustrator, children's book illustrator, something like that. And it's pretty cool. Now, I have the cover on cover on it right now. You can probably kind of see there's a little bit of glare. There's that little clear, shiny cover on here. You don't have to use this, but a lot of the planners come with it, just kind of um, for those who want to use it to protect it. I'm going to be tossing mine around quite a bit. This is going to be my art journal um, Hobonichi. So I thought I would start off with the cover on here and just kind of see how I like it. It's really easy. You just slip it in. Um, it's not hard to do at all. And it fits all the way around both sides of your cover. The nice thing about the plain ones that come with a lot of the covers is that they actually have this little part right here that opens kind of like a Ziploc bag and that allows you to get to this cover that's on the back of the actual cover, um, the printed cover, in case you want to use it. So that's a nice option if you want to use the cover on cover that comes with it. So for this particular one, the inside is obviously a bright green, not my favorite color necessarily, but for what I'm going to use it for, I think it's um, a good color choice. It's nice and bright and cheery. It's got this gorgeous um, pink color which you guys all know I love. This particular cover has the little pocket down here and then one, two, three, four pockets. Now these pockets go down quite a ways. Let's see if I can grab my ruler or something that will help me show you how far it goes down. Here we go. So this top one up here you can see goes about to there. So it's about the size of a card. It doesn't go all the way down. And of course, each one of them goes a little bit further, okay? Then you have a pocket right here that you can tuck something into, and then the pocket that the front of the planner is stuck in. There are two built-in bookmarks. In this particular planner, they are bright pink with little uh, green, I don't know what you want to call these, tabby things that are hanging, help it hang down. And then in the back, you have another pocket right here, a pocket right there, and this pocket that again the back cover is sticking in. Okay, It comes with two pen holders. They're of course very flat and rigid right now because I haven't really used this planner much but I will be using it shortly. So you can put two pens in here if you want or just to show you guys you can use one and kind of use it to hold the planner closed if you want to do that. Okay, So you can do something along those lines. So I'm going to use this particular planner, like I said, for a journal. It's going to be an art journal, just kind of a daily creative journal. I might watercolor in it. I might do some horrible sketching in it because I have no real talent um, with sketching. I might doodle in it. I might write quotes in it. I'm not sure. I just wanted something that I used every single day to do one little creative thing each day because I really feel like if you don't kind of keep that going, if you don't keep... Um, I don't know, it's almost like practicing. If you don't stay creative, if you don't keep trying to do something, you start to kind of lose that, I think. And so I really wanted to have something that I used every single day. Now in these earlier parts up here, these calendars, like for example, the one I showed you up here that has each month with all the days, I am putting special days down here, birthdays, anniversaries, things like that, because I'm going to use this to track when I need to make cards, because that's something creative that I do, and I wanted to have that in this journal. And then on the monthly calendars, I think I'm going to actually use these little boxes and just kind of do a little doodle a day type thing. Nothing too major, but it'd be really easy in that little box to just do something small. I could also do little um, 
what are they, Zentangle, Zentangle, I don't remember. Anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's too early this morning for me. But anyway, something like that in there. And then each day we'll have something here, even if it's, like I said, just a few quotes that I like, um, a little sketch. I'm not sure, but I'm going to use it for something creative. So that's what this one's for. Then the one that I have that's the same size is this one. This is the, I think it's the rose one. It's the it's one of the cheaper versions. It's actually the first cover I got, and it came with a plain cover on cover, like this one did. Okay, um, but when I was looking around the site, I saw that they had some of these printed cover on covers, and I thought they were just really cool. And they're really inexpensive. I don't remember how much they are, um, but I went ahead and picked one of those up, and they work the same way. The only downside to these that are printed is that they don't have that little um, open opening right here so if I wanted to use this pocket which you can kind of see I really can't with this cover on it but for the purposes of this particular planner uh, it doesn't matter to me so this one has the Avec planner in it just has one of them it's the uh, January through June and I'm gonna be actually using this for work um, I I train and um, have a lot of special projects where I work and I end up taking a lot of notes and needing to write things down so I thought I would use that for those kind of things I'm gonna use this little let's see this little part up here where I put the birthdays and special dates over in this planner in this one I'm gonna track the amount of time I work each day and when I take a leave so I can have a better track of that I'm not a hundred percent sure what I'm gonna do with this one but I'm thinking it's going to be where I track meetings that I have to attend, just the general meeting and the time. It might be what I um, use. And then I actually bought a little weekly calendar, okay, made out of that same great paper. And it's set up like this, so you can see it. Basically just a day, and they're really small. They do have little times right here. And I'm actually going to tuck this one in here too, and this is what I'm going to use to track what I actually do. So if I have a two-hour meeting, and then I train somebody for two hours, and then I have another meeting, or whatever, I'm going to just track it all down here. So this is going to be what I actually do every day, and it's going to sit right in here, in that pocket. And then this will be for notes um, that I need to take for meetings, for things that I need to remember to do. Um, things I've talked to trainees about, all sorts of stuff like that. So I'm going to use this one for. The general setup of this planner is the same as far as all the pockets go. These two are identical in that way. Um, they just obviously have a very different feel to them. Okay, I thought this one was um, a little nicer for work. Obviously it's not completely professional, it's not a dark color or whatever, but I don't really care. I want something pretty to look at, but I thought this was a little too loud, I guess I would say, to bring to work. And this one also has the two built-in bookmarks there in that nice pretty pale green color. Kind of a minty color that's in the inside. And the two pen holders again. Okay, so there are the first two. And then the last one, the Weeks one, this one I'm really kind of excited to use too. Um, I'm going to use this one to try to get into a lot better shape for both myself and my husband. Um, I've mentioned in a few earlier videos, I think, that my youngest daughter just moved out of the house a couple weeks ago, so it's just my husband and I, and, you know, we're kind of at that point in our life where we're trying to figure out what we what we do from this point you know, forward, because for those of you that have kids, you know that your life really revolves around them and what they're doing and where you're taking them and things you have to go to and things you have to buy and just all sorts of things, and then when they're gone, it just completely completely changes your world. I don't know how to describe it unless you've done it. Um, you know, you don't have to cook the big meals anymore and you don't have to worry about eating a meal before this activity or whatever. And so it's just a huge adjustment. And my husband and I have been eating out a lot because it's easier or ordering food because it's easier and we need to get back on track with eating healthy. And um, I personally could stand and lose quite a bit of weight, which you should be able to tell from my nice fluffy hands. Um, and I just think it's it's 2015 is a year to do it. So I'm going to use this calendar to help me do that. And what I plan to do is, first of all, on this page that I mentioned on a previous video I had plans for, 
because it's so nice and small, I'm actually going to use it to track my weight. I'm not going to do it every single day. I think that's horrible to do to yourself, probably once a week or something. And then I'll probably make a little notation of each time I reach a little goal or something like that. Um, that of course means that this is the one and only time you guys will ever, ever see this page because once I start putting my weight on here, I'm not going to be showing this to anybody. Nobody needs to know that. And then on the monthly pages, I think what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to start to track how I feel every day with making the changes to my diet and to, you know, getting a little bit more physically active and things like that. And I've ordered I have them on pre-order. The stamps from Studio L2E that are the little, I think they're kawaii faces is what they're called, but they're the little different faces. And I thought those would be really cute to stamp in here to kind of show how I was feeling with maybe a word or two underneath. It's just, you know, happy, moody, tired, grumpy, you know, whatever it is. Um, and that's what I'm going to use. And that's what I'm going to do with this monthly one. And then for the weekly, over here, I'm going to use this for meal planning, mainly um, dinners, but I'll probably do some lunch planning in there too because I need to start taking my lunches to work a little bit more. And then over here on the side that's basically just the grid paper, I'm going to use that for grocery lists and things like that. And then those back pages that are all nice and blank, I'm going to use this for new ideas for recipes. Um, you know, things to do with nutrition, all of that kind of good stuff. And so hopefully by the time I'm done with this, I will be able to track that I've maybe made a, you know, significant change in my life in that way. So don't hold me to that, but that's my plan. So that's what I'm going to use this planner for. I did get the cover on cover, which is along with this planner found on the Japanese side of the site. It has a little pocket up here. And of course this has the pocket that it slides into and it has this little kind of, I'm assuming it's a, a little kind of latch to close this, but I haven't played around with that yet, so I will let you know. And then it's got another pocket back here, the one that the cover fits into right there. And then it has this pen loop, which is the big reason I got it. Um, and then I just thought, because this is going to come with me all the time, I mean I'm going to take it everywhere with me, even when we go traveling so I can track what we eat and all that good stuff that it probably would be a good idea to have this cover. So hopefully I have explained what I'm going to use all these for. I've given you three different ideas for what you can use these Hobonichis for if you're interested in getting them and I'm sure there's a ton more. Um, you can use them for just simple planners like um, a lot of people do. I am using an Erin Condren life planner right now for basic planning which I really like so I'm going to keep doing that with um, that particular planner, but I like these for the things that I've described. I will periodically check back in with you guys and do a video and kind of let you know how things are going and share bits and pieces of them. Um, I was going to do an accessory video with this one, but I think I'm going to do that separately. So if you're interested in just seeing the few little odds and ends I got from the Hobonichi site, that video will be coming up probably right behind this one. If you have any questions about anything I said here, um, comments, let me know. Sorry for the rambling. It's incredibly early on a Sunday morning. I got up and decided since I couldn't sleep I might as well do a video and maybe it shows in the video. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it um, and I hope that wherever you're at you're having a great day.